Mr. Parker here for another review. It's another Bill Zabub movie. Uh, I've been fair with these Bill Zabub movies. I gave all my honest opinions. Some I thought were pretty cool. Some I thought were alright. Some I didn't really care for. This one I didn't care for much at all. I mean, uh, it's the worst horror movie ever made. It's entitled. It says on cut on there. And you know what? It lives up to the name, because first and foremost, it's really not a horror movie, it's more of just a, a comedy. But, uh, let me get started here. Uh, the negatives in the movie, I thought that uh, it was, it ran a little too long, it was two hours. Uh, it was a little inept, like, uh, things happened for no reason, people ended up other places. It just was really an inept storyline, uh, if you want to call it a storyline. It was even too silly and crazy for my taste. I mean, just too much weird stuff happened randomly. Uh, it was every horror cliche packed into one movie. And uh, some were kind of funny and a lot were not funny at all. I don't know. Like, there's an axe murderer who uses the word axe in every sentence. Like, acceptable. Excellent. Eh. I mean, maybe once or twice would be funny, but it gets old. And, uh... The movie's all over the place. It really goes everywhere. I mean, maybe if it was a better uh, story, maybe if the story was more uh, flowed better and uh, the production values were a little higher. I mean, some things, uh, the production values really hurt this one because at one point there are zombies, as in like the honeybees, but zombies, dead bees basically, and uh, they basically look like Microsoft Office pictures and they're on the screen. <laughs> I heard that human eyes can see spider webs, but I learned that bees cannot. So let's hope this is works and zombies cannot either. That kind of stuff, uh, I, I just, as hokey as it looked, I didn't, I just really put me off. I didn't like that at all. But there was a couple funny scenes that really had me laughing. Uh, the one character who's that really creepy workout person in uh, Dirtbags, he plays a detective in this movie and he constantly is getting raped. Even in death, the guy gets raped. There's a funny sequence where it goes back in his childhood and shows all the times he's been raped. That was funny. Son, are you sure everything you're telling me is the truth? Yes, Dad. <laughs> when I was coming home from school, some boys raped me in an alley. Well, if you go up and take a shower, you won't feel dirty anymore. That just straighten things out. Thanks, Dad. I sure hope this makes me feel better. I feel such unbearable shame and guilt. Just go ahead, son. Just go ahead. What do you wish to confess, my son? Father. Father. I can't even say that word anymore. I've been a victim of incest. What are you doing all the way over there? But he's doing no, 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 no. You're a brave young boy, son. If more victims came forward, gay rape would disappear. Okay, let's go to the station. Here. You better put these on. And there's another funny scene where this big, uh, scary looking guy's like, You know what's a shame? Is you not having some of my tea. Come on in! I got something nice and warm to put in your mouth. I I'm very flattered, but I don't do that. I just made a nice warm cup of tea. Now, how in the hell could you say no to that? I actually just had a cup of tea, and I know it's rude to understand my welcome, but I have to go. That's not rude, Sugar. What's rude is, you won't drink my goddamn tea! You feeling anything yet? Yes, I'm feeling like I should get going. Well, you know, you can spend the night. Oh, no thanks. Uh, I, I think I'll just sleep under the stars. Under the stars? Yeah. When you can have the warmth and comfort of my bed? 
Boy, if in you was a train, you'd be a locomotive. Boy, what in tarnation are you doing? Son, you need to get your ass on out of here. Me and him's about to have one of them there family arguments. Why in the hell is you spending good money on store-bought milk when you can have my cow anytime you want? I just want to make sure my milk is not gay. Now how in the hell can milk be gay? The only way to be sure is to drink this here homogenicide milk. You interrupted my tea party, so now you got to take his place. You got anything to say to that? Can I have some milk in my tea? And that part's kind of funny. The rest of it I don't think worked too well. Uh, you do get to see a lot of nudity, and that's always a plus in a Bill's above movie. A lot of uh, good-looking chicks being naked, doing what they do best, sleeping it up. But, I mean, it's just like... Some of the stuff that happens to move the story along, like uh, Bill Zabob says 52 pick up and shoots a card, and it, it kills somebody. And they have to go run around, and it leads them on a crazy trail. I mean, the digital effects in this movie is really what hurt it the most, I think. Uh, I mean, there's just some outwardly appalling South Park-like humor in here uh, that makes some people's jaw drop. I mean, uh, Jesus is resurrected for his third or second coming, I'm not sure, and basically he has a crucified hole in his hand and which he uses to jerk off through that's pretty pretty much uh bottom of the barrel comedy that's just like we don't care f you and that's basically what it is i mean they do a lot of that type of stuff a lot of poking fun at muslim stuff like that all sorts of stuff that's pretty much what they do uh but those, besides those two scenes are the only times i really laughed uh every bills above regulars in here you can think of uh, like I said, those two scenes really stood out for me, but I just think the movie ran too long and had too much stuff crammed in it, uh, and had a lot of shock value just for shock value. I like shock value for shock value, but for some reason this one, it was just crammed too much in it. It's like, if you took Spider-Man 3 and tried to call, you know how all that story was crammed in there, and it just was a, it was just a pain in the ass? This is like if you took all the shock value and crammed it in there. There's just not enough film for all that shock value. And, uh... The digital effects were horrible to me. I actually liked Dirtbags. I thought that one was kind of cleverly put together, funny, and uh, disgusting, and sleazy. This one didn't work for me. I, uh, I don't know what it... Like I said, I think it was a lot of the digital effects, a lot of the runtime, a lot of the cramness in there. Then again, the movie does tell you it's a bad movie in the very beginning. And I said a lot of the stuff was intentionally done. But uh, I'm not sure if that saves it for me. I mean... I like bad movies, but I'm not sure if this one may have done its job a little too good. I mean, it's entitled The Worst Horror Movie Ever Made. They didn't lie to you. Uh, well, it's false advertising, but what it did do is succeed in its title. It didn't succeed in a movie for me. Uh, Bill Zabub's movies usually make me laugh. This one, like I said, had a couple jokes in it. That's about it. I didn't care for this one. Sorry. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't recommend this one, the worst horror movie ever made. Unless you want to see a bunch of boobs and uh, stuff like that. I mean, there's a sequence. There's a whole giant sequence in there where, uh, what was it? Two puppets, Laurel and Harvey, or what is it? It's Harvey. I remember the two, the two comedians or something, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, they're basically puppets are molesting people. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, it's like everything packed in there. Now it's just just for the hell of it. A lot of just for the hell of it. It's a lot of sidetracking just for the hell of it. And uh, lost uh, lost its wind a little bit in there. I'll show you the two funny clips and uh, the zombies, and you guys make up your mind. See what you guys think. See if you want to still see it. Thank you. Bye.